Hey guys, this is Joy Cho from Oh Joy. Today I'm answering another business question. All right, so some people are gonna disagree with me on this one, but to me, one of the biggest mistakes that people make is partnering with a friend on starting a business. I think what ends up happening is a lot of people, when they're first starting a business, especially if you've never done one before, you're kind of scared, you're kind of intimidated, you feel like you can't go at it alone. So people will partner with a friend, and usually a good friend, and it's somebody that they have known for years, and say, hey, do you wanna do this together? And what ends up happening is friends in business usually don't mix. And I'm not saying it every single case. In maybe 25% of cases I've seen, it works out, it's great, those friends are able to make it work. But in so many other cases, if you've started with somebody who was a really close friend of yours before starting a business, it usually makes it such that something goes wrong or something goes awry. For example, either one person is way more into it than another, either people have different needs, they have different wants, and as the business grows and evolves, people start to separate, and I have, I've seen it tear up friendships, and I've also just seen it not be the greatest place to start a business. So, my advice is, if you feel like you need to go into a business with somebody, and you need a partner, and you can't go on it alone, find other people, maybe they are acquaintances, maybe they are former coworkers, or maybe they're people you've never met, but you're finding somebody who has a strength that you don't have. I think that people who are former coworkers are actually a good place to be able to start businesses together because they formed a friendship based on work first and friendship second. But what I'm saying here is business with a friend, a close personal friend is usually not a great idea. So if you're thinking about it, I would really assess the friendship first and I would also assess your roles in the business and make sure you each have very clear roles and make sure both people are really into it. Otherwise, it's something that I would try and do on your own if you can, because a lot of times um, when you're the one into it and you're putting your whole mind, your whole passion, all of everything into it, I think that you have more room to grow when you're not limited by another person, especially somebody who you have a personal connection with. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you have other business questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And please subscribe to the Ojoy YouTube channel.